Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my fellow Bands of America announcer, Mr. Dan Potter. Thank you, Chuck. We got people all the way up at top. Ah, yes, we do. Hello up there. Where are my Oklahoma people at? Where are my Broken Arrow people at? How about my Union people? How about the Owasso people? Are you up here? Okay, Oklahomans, I'm a little nervous down here. I need you to back me up, okay? You got my back? All right. I want to say a little bit to the people attending their first Grand Nationals. Who's here for the very first time tonight? Oh, I love you people. I love newbies. I love people seeing their very first Grand Nationals, and I'll tell you why. I love to sit next to those people and watch the look of astonishment on their faces when their notion of what a group of high school kids can accomplish together is shattered. There will be moments tonight when you'll look on this field and you will pinch yourself and you'll say, these are high school kids doing this, achieving this level of excellence. It truly is magical. But there are many magical moments tonight and I'll get to those in just a minute. I don't want to get ahead of myself. My friends in Oklahoma know that I work in the media. Four hours every day, Monday through Friday, I host a morning radio show, and it's a news show. And I spend those four hours relaying some of the most horrifying news stories, talking about hatred and violence, about lies and alternate facts. I live for weekend band shows for one simple reason, and it's kind of a selfish reason. I'm rejuvenated. I'm reinvigorated. I'm made positive again by what I witness, by what I see and what I hear on a football field on a Saturday. It renews my hope for the future. And tonight, when you see these performers, your hope for the fu future will be restored as well. I am 55, and I'll tell you that Bands of America has as its mission statement to create, provide, and expand positively life-changing experiences through music for all. Now notice, nowhere in that mission statement is there an age range. Nowhere in there does it say we're providing, creating, and expanding those positively life-changing experiences just for kids. You will have your life positively changed by what you're about to see here tonight. And any chance you get to hang around Bands of America, you'll find, I think as I do, that your life is positively changed. I want to give those newbies a few things to look at tonight, a few things to consider. Yes, you want, and, and these are things judges are going to be considering as well. You want to march well and play well. That's a given, but that's an oversimplification. Think about some things that are being accomplished out here tonight. Some of the bands you'll see here in finals will be moving at more than 200 beats per minute. 200 beats per minute is 33 beats every 10 seconds. That means 33 steps every 10 seconds. Tonight, when you're going back to your car or walking back to your hotel, I want you to try, I want you to time yourself. Look at your watch and try to walk 33 steps in one minute. You'll get a sense of how fast that is. And then imagine you're wearing 35 pounds of tenor drums and you're doing it backwards and you're playing Rachmaninoff at the same time. The young people taking this field tonight accomplish at such a high level. It truly is magical. You'll see a lot of magic on this field tonight. Can I tell you about some of the magic you'll see? You'll see a tree fall, and when that tree falls, the trunk will break open, and a marimba will appear inside the trunk, and it'll be played, and it'll be magnificent. You'll see a captive woman escape a magical maze and slay the bone collector who put her there. You'll see magical pearls the size of weather balloons floating in a sea of magical jellyfish the size of patio umbrellas. You'll see a band from a city named Flower Mound turn a football field into a mound of flowers. 
you'll see a band of hundreds of space explorers magically drive a fleet of go-karts to the planet Xena. You'll see giant boulders magically balancing atop one another with serenity. You'll see giant eyeballs floating magically from above a landscape that looks like Dr. Seuss and Salvador Dali had a baby. I don't know what that means. You'll learn of the immense magical power of one single brick. You'll enter the world of one of Hollywood's most magical filmmakers, Tim Burton. You'll be enchanted by the magically mature voice of a young woman lamenting this bitter earth. You'll be magically transported to the ancient aqueducts. In your mind's eye, you'll see the majestic pines of Rome. And tears will be shed as we appreciate the kind of divine magic that allows us to keep going in spite of the worst kind of tragedy, the divine magic that allows us to just fly away. You'll experience the kind of magical moments that give you goosebumps and make you cry and make you smile and leave you in amazement. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the magic and be amazed. Thank you for being here tonight. Cheer loudly, give big standing ovations. Enjoy the evening.